Uh, we received a question from Arpon Kundu. He's at present a third year student in presidency. He's asking that in undergraduate studies, being formative part of one's education, don't you think that it should involve the flavor of current research and it should be incorporated in the curricula of our research institutes like IU, IUCA, TIF, uh, HRI, etc. And this is the first question. And the second question is that should there be any compulsion in taking of subjects? For example, if a student wants to skip electronics and wants to take a GR course in his undergraduate, shouldn't he be given that freedom to take that course? Uh, in no, other words, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish uh, and are, aren't we sp uh, aren't we spoiling many enthusiastic mind by giving them some compulsory subjects? Yeah, I, I completely agree with Orpon here. I mean, it's just, um, I think he's taking the words out of my mouth. Um, first of all, the question of undergraduate research is absolutely essential. I mean, I that is one of the one of the things I, I said in my earlier um, you know question was that not only do um, teachers need to be involved in research, but the students have to have some flavor. Otherwise, why would they want to go into a research career? I mean, when you asked me why I had gone into astrophysics, I said the same thing. I was very lucky that I was actually, um, I came into contact with people who were doing active research and they could infuse the excitement of research within me. Otherwise, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I think it is very important. There, it, it is not clear that a good student who's good on paper, who does very good exams, is going to be successful in research. So research has to be introduced in the undergraduate career for two reasons. One is to make sure people get interested in research. Mm -hmm. And secondly, people get a flavor of research to figure out whether they're good at it or not. You might find that somebody who has a very low first division in, in, in exams will be excellent in research, where somebody who's the topper in class will have absolutely no argument for research. And they will not know, they will not know that that is true till they actually do it. And so a lot of people go into PhD courses and they fail, which is a waste of time. They have to drop out in the middle of their PhD courses because they, th they thought that they were very good at the subject, but they're not. I mean, not subject meaning in, in terms of research. So research has to be brought in. And there is also the whole question of productivity. There is so much research that can be done, even by undergraduates who are um, who have a basic training in the basic uh, basics of the subject. That I don't see why they should not be involved. You know, I mean, you know, this research needs manpower. There is only a small number of people who do research in a particular subject. Opening research up to undergraduates just opens up a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of resources for both teachers as well as the students. So that is that is very important, and that's what have. so the way we are going to now restructure the university's core uh, syllabus mm -hmm. is that we are going to bring in research at every stage. Okay. Um, we've decided that, um, and we're going to make uh, you know the presidency syllabus uh, quite exemplary so that you know other other universities can see and follow us really. Um, I, okay. I'm going. Uh, we we are planning it in a big way so that uh, all subjects will update their syllabi to okay. bring in various things and also the question of optionality. The optionality question is very very important. Of course, there are certain things that everybody must learn. Say in physics, you know, you cannot have an option on learning mathematical physics yes. or quantum mechanics or you know electromagnetism or you know basic subjects but once you get to a stage where you go to the more specialized subjects like electronics for example i i, I strongly believe that electronics is not core physics mm -hmm. but in most um, west bengal universities not indian universities west bengal universities electronics is taught as if it's you know part of the absolute core of physics every year there are two, three courses of electronics. The labs are full of electronics. Okay, it's not just electronics, but th I'm taking that as an example. There are various other subjects that can be optional. And it needs to be optional. And also, I think the, the basis, the, the general basis needs to be wider. This whole question of subsidiary subjects, past subjects, etc., that people have to take against their will, needs to be also made very diffuse so that people can pick and choose individual courses, not subjects. So right now in most universities, what you do is you do an honors course and then you have two past subjects which you have to take. And then you have to learn everything from those subjects. And I yes. don't think that is a good, good model. 
I think the choice should be, you know, if I want to take one course in statistics, one course in mathematics, one course in history, one course in philosophy, I should be able to do that as long as I actually do some courses other than my core subject so that I have a broad education. This kind of the, the, the liberal arts model or the liberal science model that the U.S. universities have is, is actually very good. And I think um, Indian students would respond to that very well. Yes. I think this whole regimentation of everything being compulsory in an undergraduate education has to go. And um, Orno, um, uh, Orpon is right, but um, I think, you know, Orpon will probably not get the benefit of our changing um, yes, the syllabus because he's already going out. But, yes. uh, but clearly he knows, uh, you know, what his uh, junior students uh, really want. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to slowly change that. Yeah, I think this kind of structure will be very, very good because when we did our undergraduate from West Bengal, it's, there are several courses we just read because we have to pass, we have to get a pass marks. Exactly. And that was kind of irritating and it takes just a lot of fruitful time because there was many good subjects. And, and one of the things I have found is that, sir, the quantum mechanics and relativity is taught very little in the undergraduate, which is absolutely, absolutely core thing in the undergraduate physics. I mean, you have to start physics first year with relativity and quantum mechanics exactly. and thermodynamics. These exactly. things are kept for later years and you learn absolutely meaningless stuff in the first year, which should be either in this high school courses or not there at all. 